Welcome back, everybody, to the adventures of Delta and Upsa, except for real this time, because hopefully another massive DLC for the game isn't going to drop anytime soon, though I probably wouldn't complain if it did. Yesterday, we made enemies with the Empire by clubbing Alexios over the head and then shoving her into a shed. Um, I should point out, there's been some comments on yesterday's episode, and every single person, or a lot of people, all asked what happened to Rose. Why did Rose not come back for the series? And I don't want to spoil it, but... Just be patient. I've I've got something lined up. I didn't want to ruin it, but given it was the most commented thing on yesterday's episode, just stay tuned. That's all I'm going to say. Just bear in mind we're waiting for the person to turn up to tell us about how terrible the Empire is. That's all I'm going to say. You just you just stay tuned. In the meantime, though, I'm going to plant some crops because we actually never got around to doing that yesterday. We were kind of living off the land for a little bit, which obviously worked out pretty well. Um, but now it's time we properly start hunkering down, building defenses, because we have made an enemy for life in the form of the Empire now. So... Those guys are not going to be too pleased about us. Um, what have we got access to them? Bear in mind we are playing with... Um, I vaguely mentioned it yesterday's episode, but I ended up editing it out. Um, we've got Rim Cuisine 2 installed. Now, I, I said yesterday in the bit that I edited out, normally we run with Vegetable Garden. But I thought Vegetable Garden was kind of OP based on the fact that it has access to things like... Um, Oh, God, things like the lentils, for example, that give you the crazy powerful um, way to avoid meat and avoid going out hunting. You could just basically bunker down with hydroponics and never have to leave your base. However, in, in retrospect, it also looks like this mod could be quite powerful as well, um, which is why I ended up editing it out. But uh, oh, what have we got access to then? So we're using Rim Cuisine to core specifically. I think that's the only Rim Cuisine mod we've got in this pack. Um, what have we got then? I, I'm, I'll have to do a spreadsheet to see which of these are the best ones to grow in terms of... Uh, Growing time versus yield, etc, etc. We'll go with rice, because that's obviously a safe, quick, and easy to grow one. We'll have to wait until we get a stove as well to really assess how useful things are. What about coffee? I imagine that probably affects tiredness or something like that. Again, we need to quickly get on uh, stoves, things like that. Should we also... Um, should we also maybe set them a dedicated work schedule again for a couple of days? Just to really help things get up on its feet. We've got another mouth to feed already. And we haven't even got enough food to feed the current two mouths that we started with. So maybe let's immediately get back to work then. Um, I'll let them keep harvesting. Now what I'll do is I'll set one of them to harvest while the other one grows. So we'll go ahead and we'll swap these jobs around. We'll do that instead. So Upsa should be now working on the farm. There we go. And we'll let Delta just go out and find naturally growing stuff in the world. This is their pet dog, by the way. Uh, this is Rover. He's a very... He's a Jack Russell. I know he doesn't look like it, but... Uh, well, we think he's part Jack Russell anyway. I've no idea what the fuck that is. We've seen him in other series. What mod adds them in hindsight? Oh, it's Alpha Animals. Sorry, that makes sense. I was going to say, I don't think I added anything besides Alpha Animals that adds extra shit. Very cool. So there is one mod we've got in this pack that honestly I don't really know what it does much, and that's Sparking Worlds. Um... Oh, God. Rebo Dynasty's lost Nyasa to the Covenant of Barn after failing to repel the invaders. So we have dynamic diplomacy. Now, that's another cool reason to play on one of these smaller world maps. Factions will conquest one of them. So this faction just conquested whoever the hell those guys were and have expanded their power base. Wow, that could be interesting. So we could be looking at, say, the Empire, for example, crushing... Or the others. I don't know whether technology is taken into account. Obviously, we've got a couple, we've got like a city there. We've got a uh, we've got two citadels actually there as well. Interesting. So those guys have just conquested. God knows who what those were, but they are completely wiped out immediately. Well, those not the orcs. Oh no, these are the orcs, aren't they? Oh man, I wish I remember who that was now. Thank God we aren't particularly committed to any other of the factions quite yet. Also, someone pointed out that the recruitment difficulty on this guy was uh, ninety nine percent. Ah. The League of Ka Ka Kahistan. Um, so, I asked this last episode, or sorry, last series, and the mod to rename a colony wasn't updated at the time. However, this time, we've still got it. It's right there. So, if you guys want to suggest a name for the colony, we will actually be able to do it this time, because last time we couldn't. So, I'll name them for the time being. Um, we're going to name them the League of People Who Need a Name Even. Na na name Sorry, capitalize that. It is a name after all. Even. Uh, and we should give the settlement a name. We're going to call it the the Clubbers. Until I've got a better name. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave it down to you guys. Whatever's the most upvoted comment on this episode, I will uh, I'll go ahead and name the colony after that. Seeing as kind of should have done that last time and obviously weren't able to. I'm going to keep her there, though, to keep recruiting her because it will help build up social. And given that they've got a double stat and a double passion in it, anyway, there's literally no downside to this. It's just a way for our guy to build up his social skill as much as possible. Um, up to that is obviously to build up his social skill as much as possible in a fairly safe and easy environment. If Alexios tries to break out, we just club him over the head with the baseball bats again, drag him back in. And failing that, they are just fresh organs if we ever feel like we need some, uh, some fresh organs as well, which is quite nice. 
Uh, we got downgrade psychic amplifier. We can't actually straight up remove the psychic amplifiers, though, can we? Um, just got downgrade. That's a shame. I was kind of hoping we could uh, we could whip that out of there and uh, install it one of our people. Seeing as we made our enemies of the Empire anyway, we don't really care about Psychic Silence or anything like that. That's a real shame. Not that it really matters too much, obviously. But one of the cool mods that was suggested to me since yesterday's episode was the powerful Psycast mod. Uh, what that will do is make all the Psychic abilities a bit more powerful. And the reason I've gone for that is because we've got another mod as well that allows the Empire to use their Psychic abilities against us. So added to the enemy troop pool will be, I, th I think they were called Psychers, who are able to use Psychic abilities. And I thought... That's really cool, but if the enemy is going to turn up with multiple psychic characters and we haven't got any, we kind of could do with something to balance it. So hopefully we'll get s some access to psychic powers and they'll be more powerful for us. And obviously we're a lot more directed with our psychic abilities, so we should be able to use it a lot more effectively and they'll be more powerful to hopefully kind of balance it. But I, I imagine they will affect the air, but again, I'm kind of relying on the air to be pretty shit using them. So fingers crossed we get access to that. Otherwise, it's just double buff for the, for the AI at that stage. Okay, so farm's down. Um, we've got the latrine. We've got... I sort of food. I guess we could put down a fishing spot, couldn't we? That would be a kind of good way to get some consistent fishies into our base. Uh, okay, there we are. A zone is set to cut fish upside medium. I don't really care. We, we can set it to any size, can't we? Um, small, medium, large. That's okay. Uh, oceanic fishing, no, because obviously it's not a goddamn ocean. And then fishing in the zone, eel, trout, and koi. Let's go to the big pond over there, but we'll stick to this one just because it's more convenient. I don't think there's a way to specifically set one pond over another or a specific zone. I think they just walk to any part of the edge is a valid area. So if we set it all the way to here, they might walk across and go stand on this side to fish, which is obviously not massive convenient there um cool okay so that'll bring in a bit of meat but you need a lot of fish to be able to use it as meat so i'm not going to rely on that one too much oh, we should probably set ourselves up a fisherman too um upsa seeing as you're also our cook and i'm probably also going to gain some animal skill there my man has been fishing for so long he's officially starving to death that is insane have we got we've got we've got some honey that he could be eating right now um we do definitely have food just lying around on the map like there's just onions and whatever she's carrying there breadfruit just lying around I don't know why he's insisting on fishing himself to death at this stage. Uh, okay, well, I'll let him finish because it takes so goddamn long to fish. There you are. Consuming breadfruit. Right, go, go, go. Go and, go and stuff yourself full. There we are. Uh, seven breadfruit. That's fine. Fishing takes so goddamn long. Ammo. I completely forgot how long it takes. Um, maybe we'll say that uh, that's like a priority three job at best. That just takes so, so long. My God. All right, what have we got then? Um, pottage. Oh, right. That's that mod. So we have played with this before. God knows what, though. Um, let's go ahead and cook four simple meals. We'll do that until we've got X, where X is like 12. Um, it's three times four, then. And we've, we've got three people we need to feed. That's fine. Um, we need more materials. Oh, right, because we have to butcher the... Wait, we don't have to butcher the fish, do we? Oh, right, because we don't have enough for four meals. But we've got enough for one right now. All right, fair enough. Uh, we will also set that to butcher creature and then do forever... Uh, as long as I haven't got insects or anything, I don't really mind too much. There we are, just to just to double check on that one, be sure. Right, can I make it so your... Oh, his butchering cooking is already set to the highest. Just in case there are any animals on the map that he could uh, potentially go and butcher there. Go ahead and allow all as well, so that we can uh, go and grab things that... Uh, I'm not sure about that one. I feel like it's a bad idea, Delta. Uh, sorry to let you down there. Do you want to maybe not do that? Oh, there's gold right there. Nice, well, that's a multi-analyzer to deal with. I should really set up a zone they're allowed in. Otherwise, they can see that it's not going to be long before they wander off and get themselves killed. So let's go ahead and designate just a, a fairly sizable area. It would be better to obviously just, you know, in hindsight, let me just go ahead and do an inverted area instead. All right, hopefully that'll be sufficient. I, I made it fairly sizable, I think. I've given it quite a big, uh, kind of a kind of a wide berth there. Okay, well, fingers crossed they don't get chomped. And if they got chomped now, honestly, that's just Darwinism. Let him die at that stage. Right, so let's restrict you all to area one, and then we'll go ahead and allow everything else on the map. This way, we can actually go out and actively... Get ourselves some food if we feel that's necessary. So I'll go say and harvest all plants. Um, we'll just have them chop all wood as well if we feel like it, but that's a little bit crazy. Just go and have them harvest everything. That's going to bring in a lot of food. That's going to be a lot of heal root, and we're just kind of waiting for this to grow. In the meantime, we'll have up some work on some more substantial power than this as well. Uh, let's take a look here. Human power generator is not too bad, is it, for a starting thing? Um, I'd rather just get the wind turbines down. We could put one there and then... Put one there and then maybe make a small growing zone on the other side of it. That works fine. Okay, let's put... We, we only need one for the time being, don't we, realistically? Uh, and let's go ahead and drag that back over to the base. Something like that. Just, just to be able to power a stove or some lights. Anything like that is more than sufficient. Then we'll work on a cooler after the fact. Just getting some power online sure, certainly wouldn't hurt. Um, 
What have we got then? I'm looking for now some easy components. We got some there, but it's a little bit, a little bit muddy. It's a little bit muddy. Let's go get those. Uh, get enough to back up just in case of failed constructions, that type of thing. So five could do with an extra one there as well. Thirty-three on average per mine. So spare one, two. Oh, even that. They might botch the construction. We might want to get two more tiles. That way we've got enough for the wind turbine plus one just in case we botch it. Then when they wake up, I'm going to go and club a monkey like I threatened to do yesterday so that we can actually, now that we've got a butcher zone and somewhere to cook the meat rather than just leaving it on the floor to rot, um, we'll go and club some monkeys. Hopefully they won't go manhunter pack because the last thing you want is a whole pack of monkeys trying to pull your face off. Um, and then we'll make ourselves, oh god, they're kind of hideous. Hello. I'm like craning my net there to be able to see them properly. Um, sure. We'll, we'll kill those and wear their flesh. Don't scare Alexios. All right, let's go kill a monkey. See if we can get ourselves an outfit. Oh, God, that's quite a lot of them, though. Is there any, like, lone animal that we could safely club? Or what about, like, a what about like a llama? I mean, we probably get A, more meat from them, B, more leather. But, see, I imagine they're less likely to rip our face off if we fuck this up, right? Um, so I'm sending both of them as well. I know it's probably unnecessary, but I want to make sure we don't get, like, a llama revenge. Okay, that's fine. How much, how much does one of you drop? Um... Leather 32. And we wanted to make two of those uh, thermal wrappings. So that is... We're looking here. Th -th -th thermal wrapping. 15. We get two of those just as a temporary thing. I know I said yesterday there's not much point because we can just kill another thing and then get the clothes done. But... Oh, I don't know, actually. How, how are you looking? Do you take much damage there? Bruises? Bruises. They're nothing to worry about. There's three left. Do you think two people, just in case they do go berserk? Do you think that's enough? Okay. Club more, then. If we can kill all of them, we can get them enough clothes to uh, not to worry about the thermal wrapping. And we get the meat out of it as well. So, come on, come on. There we are. Okay. Get that thing finished off. Get that thing finished. Get that, get that thing. Okay, right. It's not, it's not paying attention to me. Too. There we are. Thank you. Right. Get that thing finished off. Let's go ahead and get the stuff hauled urgently. And we will get it butchered basically right now. Um, I, I do normally like to leave it, so there's obviously the way you can min-max it is to leave it until it's about to rot, butcher it, leave the meat until that's about to rot, then cook it into meals, because that way you get the longer shelf life out of it. Um, but in this situation, let's just not allow rot and allow absolutely everything. Just just yeet it all on the floor, honestly. Um, let's also get rid of... Let's go corpses, but no human-like, no monstrous, and then no insect corpses. Okay, let's get that shit hauled urgently then, squad. And then I'll let you go and tend to yourselves as well. Not signed to hauling. Whoops, my bad. Um, right, everybody on hauling. Right, there we are. We good? Prioritize hauling alpaca. There we are. And then you take that one. And remove that one from the list. Right, there we go. So, up, sir. You're going to be our butcher. So, you get butchering. Um, I know you're trying to sleep, but this is actually... This is overall going to be a massive mood improvement. So, I'm going to let them do this. Why did you half clean the room there, you weird man? Right, let's go and get that cleared up. Right, there we are. Okay. Get this one done. Delta, you go and haul the rest of those llamas that we killed. Or alpacas, sorry. Um, so go grab those two. And then, hopefully in that time, you could have these two butchered down. Maybe even cook some meals as well. Keep everybody happy. Eleven? Because 11? you're that bad? Really? Oh, that sucks. Okay, we're going to have to kill a lot of fucking alpaca in that case. That's not even enough for one set of clothes. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, thermal wrapping it is. Forget I fucking said anything then, huh? You shit. No, don't eat the raw meat. Just cut the space battle. Oh, no. Several miss, several massive spaceships have engaged in combat and planets orbit. Miss shots and debris can impact the ground area. This can lead to massive fires. Um, Are we just going to... Don't know if you saw that over there, then. Um, uh, Okay, be very careful. Be very careful about grabbing this. Okay, be very careful. You can help out. You grab this one. And you grab this one. Okay, be Jesus, be very careful. Oh my god. We've had these things fall on us before and almost kill us, so be very careful. Um Oh wow, yeah, that's causing a real mess. These things I should also point out don't act like regular ship chunks. We can't just go ahead and grab those. Those will um explode at some stage as well. It also litters the map in corpses. Um as you can see, just corpses fucking everywhere now. Oh my god. Uh was that an escape pod? Did you hear that? Sounded like an escape pod. Well, this is happening over there, away from the base, I guess. All right, meals cooked first. Um, then we need to... There we are, space battle's over. What did we get out of that? Are any of these ship chunks going to stay around? There's a lot of corpses, though. My God. They're only, like, wearing power armor. So someone quite rightly pointed out yesterday as well that the uh, 
the hygiene mod that we've got at the end of the research triads washing machines that allows you to move taint from clothes. Obviously, it's very powerful. It's taking a very long time to get over there. I don't know what that is either. Teratogenic originator. Uh, it seems to be made up of hands and legs. We've got a big old dragonfly there dead. Um, maybe we can dismantle these. As I recall, they, they blew up at some stage, so we'll keep an eye on it. For the time being, let's just focus on getting a meal cooked. Um, can you keep cleaning as we go here? Oh my god, you're bleeding out 13 fucking hours. You absolute fool. Um, who's our doctor? Uh, Delta. Delta's our doctor. Delta, oh, for fuck's sake, go to, go to bed. We'll deal with meals in a minute. Right, okay. Um, tend to... Already tending. Good, good, good. Okay. Get him patched up. Then after he's patched up... Oh, he had his toe bitten off. Tragic. What a, a, a modern day tragedy first, episode one. Unbelievable. Already lost a toe. Combat supplier. Okay, I have nothing to trade with you. Um, but thank you. I mean, thank you for visiting. Oh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Why would you do that? I'm so mad about tending to this guy. I'm going to go berserk. Please get out of there. Please get out of there. Delta, Delta, Delta. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what, Alexios? Kick her ass. Fucking, oh my god. What about the trade caravan? Is she going to... No. No, no. Please turn around. Uh, tent, self tent, self tent, self tent. Honestly, just self tent, my man. Fuck it. She can't be trusted. Right, okay. Uh, process tending to yourself there, chief. She better not attack the trade caravan. Are you all right? Feeling depressed. What are they attacking? Oh my god, they're attacking the insects? <gasps> they are attacking the insects. Nice work. Nice work. Clear it out for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at these guns. What the hell is even that? Rebel pistol. Scrambled together from a nail gun and outdated charge weaponry. They've got a smoke launcher, hand cannons, grenades, um, bio-coded SMGs. Oh, good. Oh, come on. I was kind of hoping they would destroy the insects, but they've kind of fucked that up. Instead, they might just end up destroying Delta at this rate. Oh, good. Right. Up, sir. Tend to yourself. Get some slip. They actually are. Oh, God. They're shooting at Delta. Delta's down. Oh, God. Um, right. Up, so finish off tending to yourself, then. Perfect. Now, let's go rescue Delta. Because she's been, I assume... Oh, shot in the arm. Okay, that's okay, then. God damn. What a fucking mess. All this for some clothes. So, what fucking anime is this? They're all... Oh, they're all robots. Right, 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 right. I see. Um, social model genius. Uh, what, what are you, though? Health? Not reproductive. You're an android. Yeah, obviously. Oh, but they are androids, though. Um, I want to, I want to see more of them than, than that, but, okay, interesting. Nice to, nice to meet you. Thank you for shooting, uh, Delta. That was much appreciated. Now we're going to cook this fucking food. It was in 1.3 days, so, okay, it's not, it's not going off quite yet. What about the alpaca themselves? 1.6. Right. You. Please, God. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to tend to these people. For fuck's sake. It's just, it's just a couple of, it's just a rough couple of days. They'll get over it. Everyone will be happy. Everything will be fine. Look, he's eating now. He's eating and he's on a, oh, and what's the downside to eating raw meat? They just get upset about it. He's already upset. He's going to come out with catharsis and he's not going to be hungry anymore. That's a win-win as far as I'm concerned. Shit. This has gone horribly wrong. He's back up. The madman. Okay. 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 So, tend to yourself or tend to Delta? Um, but now 23 hours. Well, we've answered that question fairly. Although, if we tend to himself first and just get it done, they can... He should be able to tend to Delta a little bit more effectively. Um, oh, God, it's all gone dark as well. I was going to say we could build a torch very quickly to help with the tending too, so he's not in complete darkness doing it. In fact, I might even put that down. Look, we've got 23 hours, right? She's not going to die in the, in the small amount of time that it takes us to build a goddamn torch lamp in the bedroom so that we can see to operate to her. Okay, finish on yourself first. Then, when well, that's good, tend to Delta uh, at full... I've completely forgot about Alexia, who I assume is, yep, still flailing around on the floor from where Delta went nuts and beat her with a baseball bat. So she's now permanently depressed. Oh, fantastic. You're not even worth recruiting anymore. Because you can't do anything. I might just beat her over the head and steal her clothes. Honestly, I might just, I might just have to do her in. Fuck. All right, let's get that torch lamp down and then prioritize tending to Delta. Okay. She's also very, very, very hungry. So if we could cook some meals, that would not hurt. But look at the speed. Look at the speed he's working now. Zero percent. Why did you even fucking bother? Why did you even bother? Don't you collapse. There is, there is, you, you do not have permission to sleep quite yet. Okay, how's she looking then? Um, 
Mind shattering pain, minus 20. I also had to feed her meat to make sure she didn't starve to death. Okay, she seems good now, though. More to the point, we've got clothes. That's it. That's all we had to do was just bite the bullet and, well, bite the raw alpaca, I guess. Oh, hello. Uh, what have we got? What? That thing? We could recruit that thing? A, a mega... A megalochellis? Uh, what do they do? I mean, it is a giant fuck-off. All right. Sorry, Delta, there's a giant fuck-off turtle that just dropped from space. So you know what that means? I've got to save it. This is some Stephen King-level shit. Um, excuse me, I need a... Uh, I need an animal bed. Where is that? Furniture and then animal sleeping spot. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Delta, about your mind-shattering pain, but something, something way more impressive. Rescue Kiki. Uh, you weren't affiliated with any faction, were you? Um, wild creature. I said it might join us, and it also lays eggs, so we can have tasty giant turtle eggs. Oh, Delta's back up. You can just self-tend, then, you weird... Uh, yeah, self-tend. Excuse me. Self-tend. Uh, doubt tend is Delta. Yeah, we're good. Ah, here it is. Excellent. Join me. Um, you tend to Kiki. See if we can recruit this giant turtle friend. Um, you might want to capture Alexios, because I think they're going to die soon if we don't feed them. Um, yeah, yeah. Go do that now. Although we might want to let them die. We actually might just want to kill them right now. Uh, okay. We don't have enough melee skill. Fetch the bat. Go get, go get your bat. Where is that gone? Uh... No interaction while drafted. Okay, undrafted and then right click to forget about the wooden club. No, no, I want to go get the wooden club. Where did, where did we drop it? Uh, I have no idea where it's gone. Okay, we'll find it at some stage, I'm sure. Did the traders kill the insects back on the way out? I wasn't really paying attention. I will admit, no, they didn't even do, they did barely anything. We want to destroy that. Oh, the hive doesn't re reproduce. I didn't actually know that. Um, okay, fuck knows where the bat's gone then. It's not really a big deal. We, we could just go and beat it to death. But, excuse me, finish off tending to Kiki. Right, just go and... Fortunately, Alexios, you know what? Give me that. Give me that. Excuse me. Give me that wood. What the hell is going on? I don't know why my shortcuts don't know why we're not drafted anymore. Go and get that equipped. And we'll just beat it to death with a wooden stick. Goodbye, my friend. Never mind. Never mind. Malnutrition did it for me. Now we're going to strip you. Now, I know the clothes are not good to wear right now. But you got to bear in mind, even though they're tainted, they're very good. And to be fair, the tainted, even if they are tainted, it would remove the... Uh, so the, the core set of diligence, that gave us... What was that? Uh, so that one's pretty good. And then it was the... One of them gave some crazy bonuses, didn't it? Was it the... Oh, that's it. The royal shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wear that. Bear in mind, it's a thrombo royal shirt, right? And it's got all sorts of crazy shit. That's pretty good. Um, doesn't quite solve the, the naked thing, though. What, what if we wear that as well? Is it, are you now not naked? Good, good, good. Wear the whole thing. Fuck it. Wear the whole thing. No, actually, take the crown off. That's that's way too much. Rescued animal joins! You all called me a madman, right? You can, t you can take the crown off. We definitely don't need the crown. That looks absolutely absurd. Right, make that one into um, for... No, no, you're for prisoners. And we'll just turn that into a regular old bedroom. So that's the one, obviously, with all the furniture in. Will that like, upside have that one? Okay, um, you guys can now just go about your business. If you could craft us some extra clothes there as well, that would be ideal. And then let's get that campfire refueled. Everything's fine now. We were looking a little bit bad there for a second, but everything's good. We've got ourselves a brand new, very lovely friend. Great big turtle friend. And I think for a couple of days, it probably wouldn't hurt to give a little bit of time off here because they are kind of freaking out. Um, let me just go check the health tabs to make sure everything's in order. Um, so you're fine and you have a few more things that need tending, but honestly, you're kind of okay as well. We'll see if we can get that finished. Deal with the nudity debuff. I can't believe that. We got ourselves a great big turtle. That's absolutely fantastic. Oh, no. Oh, they rotted away. Fuck. Okay, we didn't get enough time. Whatever. We tried. Uh, I mean, we still got something out of it, though. Oh, it's infused. What is it infused with? Camel hide. Okay. Um, gives 3% armor to sharp. Oh. For, okay, fine. Okay, well done, then. Um, obviously, you can go wear that one. Oh, that is incredible. That is that is the that is the look I want to go for in life. Holy shit. Uh, shows off all the good parts. Catharsis 2. 8. Sweetener directly. What? A short time colors we got this. Wait, because you ate honey. You're sad because you ate honey? Really? That seems weird. That seems uh, like luxury. Like bread and honey is like a literal staple food in history. And this guy's like mad because he ate honey. You are a weird man. Mm, my favorite. Blueberries, quinoa, and truffles. Incredible. Um, Or not. No, no blueberries, I guess. There you are. Truffles. Let me guess. You're going to complain about that too. Oh, it's too rich. Ugh. Um, right, go and have the... Oh, there's some more berries right there. Our oh, people are starving to death again, but we'll try and deal with that in a second. Um, nice. Hey, I think the base is... Oh, fuck off, really? How are you... You've almost got six skill in plants, and you're botching this this badly still. It's unreal. Go and eat those damn mushrooms. 
immediately heat stroke. You're fucking kidding me. Oh my god, it's 39 degrees in there. Oh good. Uh yeah, we we are not prepared for this. We are not prepared for this at all. So, uh coolers in the bedrooms. That seems fair. Um I love the ceramic shit pan we've got lying around. That's really good. That's also my jazz name. Um temperature, let's go for passive coolers and maybe remove the torch as well. Oh, for fuck's sake, really. A heat wave. Thank you, Randy. Appreciate that one. Very good. Very, very good this early on. Very, absolutely phenomenal. Good, good work. Okay, there we are. Bedrooms are nicely, uh, nicely dealt with. That's fine. Um, and this room is is very warm, but actually otherwise okay. Right. Okay. Can we get rid of these? Can we get rid of these rotten corpses? Let's get that shit out of there. I built a corpse pond. Um, <laughs> which I know people probably weren't expecting me to say. I have built a corpse pond, which we can use to dump corpse, and obviously they'll deteriorate very, very fast in that. Critical clear all. Let's allow rotten, uh, just rotten animal corpses then. Uh, just to sort of get shit like this out of the way in case it ever happens again. Um, or not, I guess. Never mind, forget, forget I asked for that. Oh, hang on. Rotten, rotten animal corpses, genius. There we go. Right, Scurry, could you get these out of the... Get these out of the room. They're a little bit they're a little bit distracting. How's the rice looking? 87%, and then we've dealt with all of our food issues. This is very much the Patrick from the the Patrick from SpongeBob. I was gonna say the Patrick meme where he's where where he says, and I quote, now I'm gonna starve, and then it zooms in on his big fat ugly ugly tum tum. We've got, like, a, we've got, like, Garden of Eden out of our fucking front door. We've got quinoa and truffles and cocoa and honey and rice. And our people are starving to death. There's a pomegranate tree six steps away from your front fucking door, you weirdos. Unreal. These people, they, they are, they drive me mad. They drive me absolutely insane. Okay, you get the food. There's so much food just lying around waiting to be eaten. These things really don't eat very much, do they? Look at that. Wow. That's really good to hear because it does make eggs and we don't have to worry about, you know, like when you obviously recruit generally larger animals, mega sloths, thrombos in the base game, they eat absolutely everything not nailed down. Um, so the fact that we've got this giant tortoise that eats very, very little is obviously quite nice. We set a little bit of a, a roam area. I assume it just eats plants, right? Vegetables, seeds, lives, plants, meals, processed foods, liquor and kibble. Good. Give it vodka and grass. Food. Oh my god, at long last food. Okay, um... New materials, new materials. I guess we could just wait until they've got enough to cook. Cook. Yeah, finally. No, stop eating the raw food! Why would you do that? Oh my god. We just had enough fucking rice to cook four meals. What does he do? He eats one rice along the way. Oh my... You are a fucking idiot. You are you are a premium fucking idiot. I should have let you die. You're an absolute moron. You're an absolute moron. <sighs> Un-fucking believable. Oh, and now the other one's doing it as well. You know what? Fuck. You both deserve to starve. You really do. There's just absolutely no common sense in this goddamn video game. And now I'm angry. I'm angry over a video game about idiots not eating rice properly in the right order even. Morons. Right. Cook at the campfire. And I swear to God, if you eat that rice along the way, I'm going to feed I'm gonna feed you to Delta. Why is... Fire? What's on fire? Uh... Oh, almost Delta. Well, that's reasonable. So you might notice as they're going around doing their stuff. Ah, oh, there we are. Prime example. Uh, she's got a bottle of water. So we've got the Dubs Bad Hygiene mod. They've added some new changes to the way uh, Thirst works. So they don't have to keep going back to sinks every 30 seconds. They don't have to keep... They basically carry a bottle of water on themselves that I assume they have to fill up. Um, okay, there we are. Yeah, that's quite cool. So they can take some water with them. That is a, uh, it's a much, much better system than the way it used to be. The, the old system was horrendous. They basically had to go to a well or a sink every 30 seconds to go and get a drink. That was a lot better. I think that's very cool. Um, right, so we want uh, a table to prevent war crimes occurring in the manner that they are currently, which is obviously eating without a table. Um, let's go ahead and move that shit over. There you go. Put that there. And then we can put the table by the front door instead. Um, and then we need to, I think, seriously rebuild this base. Because honestly, it's, uh, it's fucking hideous. It's, it's maybe the worst base we've ever built in RimWorld. Um, and looking at it actually makes me want to vomit. So we're gonna, we're gonna sort that shit out very, very soon. Um, I love this though. I, I might trim the corners off of every single one of my bases in the future. That's aesthetic. Covenant of Barnas lost Gorgeworth to Anna Laura. Oh. Interesting. Oh, look. These guys have lost a settlement to... Analora neutral faction. So the 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 orcs or ogres or whatever they were have lost their base instead. Very cool. It's it's weird that the empire haven't been the ones doing a lot of ass kicking, seeing as they're obviously the dominant faction right now. Um, 
Yeah, very weird. Was that necessary? Did you have to feed a meal to Delta? What's wrong with her? Can't she feed herself? Lazy. Unbelievably lazy. Look at them. Luxury. Absolute luxury right now. So then tomorrow, we will focus on getting this base to something a bit more palatable. Moods are good. Food is in. Everybody's happy. And how long is that rice? 39 days before the rice is... Wait, heat stroke. Hang on. Oh my god, they both got heat stroke. Why? Initial. Okay, that's not a problem. Obviously, their bedrooms are very, very good in terms of heat management. I think we're safe and fine and good to leave this where it is for today. Thank you all for watching. This has been a, an incredibly stressful, painful, and otherwise horrible experience for me. Hopefully, it hasn't for you guys, though. Hopefully, it has been uh, a, another great episode on <laughs> 1D2 Games. Thank you. See you all tomorrow for additional episodes of Remod. And a thank you, importantly, to our patrons for making the channel possible in the first place. A big shout-out goes out to Tom Terry, Team Pelvis Presley, Scott. God, I can't speak. Hang on. I really need a fucking drink. Scott, Pelvis Presley, Anthony Gawley, Michael Mullen, James Shea, Paul Lucas, Amosis, Darthawk, Justin Wallace, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon for making the channel possible in the first place. Big shout out to these guys. Thank you all in your support and assistance with YouTube in 2020. And a thank you as well goes out to Mr. Awesome, Haji Dumar, Trashbin, Ben Taylor, Monty, Cogsell, Justin Plock, Trevin, Trevor Sanders, Smooth Octopus, Sam Kears, Jason Sushu, Gothamo, Empty Machine, Hey, I'm Alex, and everyone else on Patreon as well. Thank you guys for your support. See you all tomorrow for the continued adventures of Delta and Upsa. Which was not going well there for a second.